All right, here are all your pieces from your kit. We have a bottom half, a top half, the eight flaps. You should put them in order before starting. Eight springs, the lock, and a pin. You provide the pin. The point of the pin is to clean out these areas on your top half. There's a hole by each of the hinges. Go ahead and just clean those out thoroughly. Also clean out this area on the bottom half and that area. And then each flap also has an area on the flap that you would need to clean out inside here very carefully. You want to clean out any powder uh, that's left over from the 3D printing process. Once you've got all of your pieces cleaned up properly, then you paint. Alright, here we go. I have painted with antique gold rub and buff. I didn't paint the inside because that's not going to be visible. Certainly that's up to you. Um, got our springs ready and the lock. And we are ready to begin. So you take the lock and there's a little peg that sticks out there. And the peg needs to go in the slot and it slides around in an arc. And the sliding is important because it needs to fit in the top portion where the uh, hole is. There are three holes in the bottom and there are three pegs in the top. So you need to line those up while putting the lock through its hole and then it just all slides together. When it's in the uh, standard position the locking mechanism will stick up a little bit. You can see that uh, sticks up uh, a little bit there. When you rotate to the right your top and bottom are no longer aligned and the lock goes back down inside the case. To put on your flaps you do need to have the lock in the down position. Alright, so once we've got that in that position then we take one of our springs and you take the master flap. The master flap is the one with the extra little piece on the tip and you flip it over and the spring has a peg that goes down and a peg that goes away from you. The peg that goes away from you has to go inside the flap and then the coil of the spring goes around the peg of the flap. And then the spring has to be tamped down until it disappears inside the flap. It's kinda, it needs to go in there pretty good. All right. Once that's good, you take your base, and as you hold the flap this way, uh, the leg of the spring will be facing away from you. You need to gently rotate the leg of the spring down, fit the leg of the spring into the hole, and you want to do you want to snap the left side in first and then the right side very gently snap it into the hinge by pushing away from you and and holding onto the hinge if it's a little stiff you just have to flip it back and forth until it flips open by itself so then we take the next flap Get the next spring, load the spring into the flap, put the coil around the peg of the flap, tamp it in there real good, hold the peg of the spring down, put it in the hole in the base, Then gently snap the left side in, and 
and snap the right side in. And if it's a little stiff, flip it back and forth until it opens properly. Next flap. Tamp the spring down real good inside the flap so it shouldn't be showing. left side, gently push in the right side, and it should flip open. Next lap. And so on. Go ahead and finish all the rest of the flaps. And once you've got all the flaps in place, you're done. Here is the key, so we just close the flaps one by one, starting with the one to the left, and close all those, close the master flap last, and then rotate the bottom back to the flap position, and there is your key. It is So if we want to open it, we just have to rotate to the right.